Hello! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. Um, for the for the main part, for the tarot part, I'm going to use the Astro Matrix tarot. The website on the back here, there's verbiage there, but the website's at the bottom, astromatrix.org, I believe. They're there at the bottom. Um, there's also the artists, the creator, and the QR code. Uh, thank you for the people who put that in the comments <laughs> last week because I could not remember the name of that but here's the QR code for this one if you're interested the oracle cards you are clairvoyant oracle cards by Belinda Grace illustrations by Elaine Marzen website rockpoolpublishing.com.au A as an apple, U as an umbrella and I also use dice um, I use a 21 sided for the major arcana which does omit zero but I make it work. I believe it came from this place, uh, the dice shop. And if I can get it close enough, you can see mathartstuff.com. Math art, no, math, math, art, math art fun .com. Hopefully you can see that if you're interested. The smaller dice, I have a 14-sided dice that I use for the minor arcana. And I use a four-sided dice to choose the suit. Um, that's from here, Tom Anders. There is some information there. Hopefully I can get it close enough so it'll focus and you can see it if you're interested. I want to say there's like a website there, but I can't see it. This one also has a QR code. Here's the QR code for that one, if I can hold it still. All right, that's what we have for the materials. Um, of course, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email. James for astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Hello, Aquarius. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Aquarius? Do I really want this? Do I really want this? You're being offered something. I, yeah. Um, I, I keep questioning, like, yeah, but do I really want this? <laughs> um, okay. Ironically, it, it doesn't seem like it's bad. It seems like it's going to go more your liking, but for some reason I'm like, yeah, but do I really want this? I keep feeling that. Do I really want this? Um, there's a change that needs to happen here. Whatever you're going through or whatever's happening, I do feel like I need another... I need another way of doing things. For some of you, you could be in a job that is kind of like... It's not just that I don't care for the job anymore. It could be one of those things where I haven't cared for it for a while. Um, and it's kind of like... How, is it a short amount of time or a long amount of time before I retire from this? Because if it's another 10, 20 years, maybe I should think about this. And what other options do I have? That, that type of thing. Um... I'm getting a lot of like, do I really want to do this? Do I, yeah, but do I really want this? I keep getting that. Because you've had stronger parts of life. You've definitely had stronger parts of life. You're holding yourself back. Um, for some reason, I feel like maybe you're questioning, not that you can do it, but like, do I really want to go through that again? I feel like that's the energy I'm getting. Like, do I really want to go through that again? And I might even go into the next level of like, what if I go through all this again and I'm no farther ahead than I am right now or worse? <laughs> and I'm like, do I really want to go through this? Um, I'll even go here with this because I'm almost 50, not quite, but um, I do think this to myself, like, you know, 30 years ago, I had a lot of get up and go and I, you know, like give things a shot and life is my oyster and all this other crap. Um, <laughs> and now it's just kind of like, you look back and you're like, all that effort I put in and where I got, 
you kind of look at it that way. I feel like that might be here. Hopefully it's not pessimistic. I don't mean for it to be. But it's kind of like, you know, you know, I, it's like I don't have the energy for the errors. I don't have the energy to kind of sort out where people really stand. So it's kind of like you might be holding yourself back with that energy, which makes sense. But it's also kind of like you are Aquarius. You have a way to balance things out. You can make things work to your um, benefit. You do see things other people don't. Accepting the situation for what it is, it's definitely not going to get better if you keep accepting it for the way it is. doesn't mean you have to leave the situation totally, but something needs to change. and It's time to bring that energy back because I do feel like it's within you still. Um, whatever the situation is, I do feel like you've been detaching yourself from it. Kind of like, I feel like this is one of those things where I like, you know, I'm showing up, I'm doing what needs to be done, but that's about it. And I'm not enjoying it. I'm just doing it because that's what it needs to be. Um, it's, there, I'm being reminded of a job I had once. It was a phone job. And I was good at it at one point. And then they changed the processes and it got kind of difficult. And I got to the point where I was just kind of like showing up and I'm like, that's what they want. That's what I'll do. And I just kind of went through the motions I didn't last, I think I lasted like a year after they changed things because I was just, I remember like I became very apathetic to the job and I didn't like that version of me. But for a while there, I did accept it and I was just like, well, this is what I need to do to make a living. This is just what I have to do. It wasn't until, you know, I started like looking and start started like really kind of like, I accepted, like, you know what, maybe I'll have to downsize some things. Maybe I'll have to downsize my life a little bit, but I need to get out of this job because it's just, I'm hating every day. I'm hating my weekends because <laughs> I keep thinking to myself, it's only a matter of time before I have to go back to that job. I remember I used to hate Sundays because I'm like, it's just one day before I have to go back to that job. And it was just kind of like, this is just creating too much of a down drag to my life. Even if it's, even if I have to downsize my life and just like, curb back my spending dramatically it's worth it if I can at least enjoy life again and I get like this situation might be doing that to you it's just sucking the life out of you whatever it is you have the ability to become self-sufficient you have the ability to return to happiness you can find a way to make it happen it's time to do it um, there is also support out there for you now I'm going to say this for Aquarius especially um, I mean, there's Gemini energy here with the, the lover's card. That's a Gemini card. Other people don't have to have your level, your level of, I don't know. They don't have to be your level, whatever that means. They just have to have matching intellect. There are people here who can show you ways to do things that maybe you were con not considering. There are people here with information that maybe you just weren't seeing, um, Talk with other people. See what other people have done. Start, you know, putting out the energy. The first couple of options may not be to your liking, but there might be at least an option that's doable to change your situation. At the very least, we need change here because I'm getting whatever's going on here. You do have the strength to make a change, but you're holding on too tightly to some pieces of it. Like for me, for that job, for example, I was like, well, I need to make this amount of money. This is the only place I can see me making this amount of money. I had to first let go of that that requirement. Ironically, I found a job where I made more money, which was funny. I thought it was funny at the time. But as soon as I let go of that, I, I, I started actually downsizing. I started going through the process of downsizing to prepare for it. And then it turned out I didn't really need to do that. But <laughs> it was fine. I had to let go of those restraints and I had to prepare myself so by downsizing, it made me more comfortable, it made me more open to going out there and trying, and then I found something better anyway. You will be surprised at how easy it is for you to get out of this situation. Because it feels like a mountain right now, but once you start moving forward, it'll change quicker than you expect because you have the intellect to make it happen. The thing is, there's advice if you go forward with this. The advice is to not just look at it like, well, that, at least that's over. They're saying don't look at it that way. Well, at least that's over. It's done. 
I'm going on to better things, at least that's over. They're saying don't look at it that way. What they're saying to do is to look back at it and do a self-audit with the situation, not in the sense of regret, not in the sense of making yourself feel bad. We're not. That's not what you're looking for. But kind of like, how did I get into that situation? How did I feel when I went into it? When did it start going south? What type of decisions was I, what did I make? Not in the sense of regret, not in the sense of feeling bad, but kind of like, you know what? Life does this. Life does this where things, patterns repeat. Patterns come back. And if you go back and do a self-audit, it's not in the sense of like regret. It's in the sense of like, you know, when this comes around again, because we all know life does that. It may not come exactly the same way it came before, but it'll come around again. It's almost like, for example, maybe I had an issue with a past lover. It may not be another lover that gives me these same problems. It could be a friend. It could be a coworker. It could be a family member gives me similar issues where they're treating you toxically or they're being, you know, they're making you feel less than or, you know, stuff like that. Maybe you don't find another love partner who does that, but you have a friendship come in or, you know what I mean? Or, you know, people just start treating you poorly for whatever reason, coworker especially. Um, if you go back and self-audit, and you kind of like, oh, you know what? That's where that kind of started. And, you know, I validated it or I, I, I let it be okay or I just kind of let it go. And I got more compliant with it. I just kind of accepted that that's how it was. And then it got worse. And then I was like, at the time it was just, I thought, well, it's just a little bit worse. I can deal with it. And I just kind of let it go. And then it just got a little bit more worse and a little bit more worse until I, looking back, if it started at level 10 to begin with, I would have been like, no way. I would have shut it right down. But they nickel and dime me to the point where I just got to this low, low level. And I'm like, you know what? That's how I got there. That's how that happened. Not And then not looking back at it and like regretting that choice, looking back at it like, you know what? Life will do this to me again. I know this will come around again. And when those little things start happening, we're going to nip it right in the bud. We're not putting up with it. I don't care if it makes people feel bad. I don't care if it makes people uncomfortable. They can be uncomfortable because I'm not re going to return to that. Are we good? Okay. Going forward to the next level, I do see you um, holding that line a lot stronger, especially if you self-audit uh, self because it's like it's going to be in the forefront of your brain. It's going to be right up there. You're going to be hypersensitive to it. You're going to be very much on guard, and I feel like you should. And when this stuff starts coming back in again, you're going to stand right up for yourself in a. I was going to. I don't. <laughs> in a heartbeat, we're going to say, in a heartbeat, really quick, and you're going to have a much stable future. You don't have to repeat this, whatever this is, because whatever it is, it could repeat unless you do that self audit, because it's going to be right up there, right in the forefront. It's going to be right in the forefront. You're going to snap right at it. You're going to be on guard. And you're going to solidify your future so you don't have to deal with this again. You're also going to be like a role model to other people, not in the sense of like you're coaching them forward. But you're going to have that effect on people like, you know what? Aquarius doesn't put up with that BS. And neither should I. I'm not going to put up with it either. So if Aquarius doesn't, I'm going to take some pointers and I'm not going to put up with it either. And we don't have to be in a situation, especially if it's a work situation. And you stand up for yourself in a work situation. Other people might actually find that they also can do the same. And it might shut down a negative situation. It'll balance it out. Is there anything else with this? Yeah. To truly end whatever this is, it's not only it's not just about moving on from it. It's about doing that self audit after the fact. It's better after the fact. You can do it whenever you want, clearly, but it's better after the fact. Just in the sense of like. Oh, okay, that's where that started. Now that I know that this is how they nickeled and dined me to where I was, cutting it off right in the beginning. Uh, and it, it depends on your situation. Doing that self-audit in the sense of like, you know what, I had to learn that. I, 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 I figured it out that way. I didn't realize that this is where that was going to go at the time. I kind of knew it wasn't the best, but now that I see it in a different perspective, now that I've lived through it, we're not going that road again. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. It's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email.
Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.